Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I wanted to just talk a little bit about something that's been on my mind for quite a long time. Uh, in fact, multiple years. Uh, I just wanted to just talk to you guys and <laughs> almost vent a little bit about my uh, my thoughts on training implants and uh, why I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, so for you guys who are new and do not know what training implants are, uh, basically you can have you know implants in the game. So you can have like, I've got some implants in my clone right now. And these implants then, you see these ones, Hygolate Asclepians, uh, they give a bonus to my repair amount of armor, but they also give me a bonus to perception. Now perception is an attribute, and that the attributes, what they are, are these numbers here, that they both boost these numbers. And the point is, certain skills rely on certain attributes. So if, for example, a skill uses perception, and you have a lot of perception, you'll train that skill faster. And a way to see that is if I go, for example, here, and if we see there here, the primary attribute here is willpower and perception. So if I have a lot of perception, it'll affect this. And the primary attribute is what makes, uh, uh, has a bigger impact. So it would be favorable that I have a lot more willpower, but also if I have perception, it'll also affect it, just not as much. In fact, the primary attribute affects this training speed double the amount as the secondary attribute. There's a whole formula, but in short, it's double the effectiveness of having points in willpower or points in the primary attribute than the secondary attribute. So that's why you can see here, I've got a lot of uh, perception and willpower because almost all the skills I'm training uh, use perception and willpower. And for that, uh, because I obviously want to train stuff quicker, I'll then have implants that boost my... Uh, my willpower, uh, or not just willpower, <laughs> makes you want to do stuff more, but uh, boosts my training speed and attributes. And you, these are not the only uh, implants you can have. There are many different types of implants you can have that boost training speeds. Uh, you can even go, like, for example, if we go in mid-grade Asclepian. So this is a little bit lower tier. It gives less armor and also gives only 3 plus to perceptions. These give 4 plus, these give 3 plus. And if I wanted to go really all in on training, I can go for an ocular filter improved. For example, these improved implants. And you can see here, they give me 5 plus to a certain attribute. But then obviously if I had these in, I wouldn't have those uh, armor uh, bonuses. So that's kind of like a trade-off, you could say. But... Uh, me personally, I don't like the fact that implants they have they have got uh, skill skill points or attribute bonuses associated with them. Um, in my opinion, I think what it should be is just that you have these special implants that you plug into your clone, and they affect att the attributes, um, and they don't you don't lose them on death. Uh, the same way you if you use something, for example, Genolution, there's this special implant here. This one right here, this is just a implant that makes your pod gold. It doesn't really do anything particular. It also does have some effect on jump fatigue as well. But um, this is an implant that you do not lose when you get podded. And I, in my opinion, I think that training implants should be the same way as well. Um, the reason is because I've had a lot of stress and a lot of annoyances with these training implants. Uh, you know, if you if I were to get podded, then I'd obviously use all these expensive implants. Oh, so, okay, yeah, okay, I'll lose these expensive implants. They'll make my armor repair and go away, but I'll also lose out on uh, training time. And so, if I were to go to a dangerous area of space like low sec where I may or null sec where there's a much greater risk of me getting podded, I would then you know switch clones to a lesser clone. Or if I was to go into a very dangerous area of high sec where there are love gankers, I could do the same thing. I could switch to a a very cheap or blank clone. Okay, so that's something I could do. But the thing is, when you this happens, then you know I'm going to lose out on training time. And there's not going to be a whole lot, there's not going to be a whole lot of training time lost. It's just a little bit, but it is very annoying because it's something I have to think about. And it feels like it's punishing me for taking risks. It's like, I think that uh, risks in EVE Online ought to almost be encouraged so that people do dangerous moves to encourage, you know, interesting activities happening in the game. But it feels almost like if I want to go to the low sec, I have to just, oh my god, I have to switch to clone. Then I have to make sure that that low sec journey uh, lasts uh, no longer than a day. Or I can't log off there because if I do, then I will lose SP. And I have many times logged off, logged off in 
uh, low sec or null sec without my implant like training implants in and i've you know lost out on sp and it's not as i said before it's not a whole lot and honestly i feel like i'm even exaggerating how much you would lose like it's better it's hardly not but anything you lose but it is still something you do lose out on sp and uh, sp is valued quite highly in evo online and it feels annoying that just because I want to go to a more risky area of space, I have to lose out on these things. Um, in my opinion, what they should do is, as I told you before, I think they should have it so that you could, the, these are separate things. So these Asclepians, they boost my armor repair rate. That's in my, that's actually the main thing with these, uh, these implants right here. I think they should have like a second thing over here where you implant, put your training implants in and these things, these are not lost upon death. Uh, this is just so that you can always have that training time going on and not have to worry about, you know, losing them or if you by going to a place where you can get podded. Then I think that obviously these Asclepians, these, all these other ones, these ought to be lost on death because, you know, they make you more powerful. They make you, you know, being very powerful. And if you're not powerful, if you're very powerful and there's no risks associated with it, then obviously everyone will have these in. So I think that these obviously should be, uh, well, not maybe it's not obvious, but I think these should be definitely lost upon death uh, so that they separate, you know, uh, training implants from the actual, uh, you know, the implants that give qualities to your ship. Because in this way, you I mean, you're not going to have people running around being really OP and have no risk of losing their implants. But at the same time, you won't be losing out on, you know, you won't be losing out on some SP by going to low sec. Uh, also, uh, this is just a side thing that I've been thinking about for a long time. Is just the attribute system of Eve Online. If you maybe if you are a new player and you're listening to me in the beginning uh, talking about this, I can imagine this is still is pretty complicated or is not as intuitive as it would be. And that's something I agree with a lot. I think that this whole attribute system in Eve Online is just needlessly complicated. I don't know why it has to be this complicated that certain skills have certain attributes that train in certain ways. I just think they should just get rid of this all and just make it like as if every skill would be the same amount of attributes. Just simplify things so much. People will have to think about these remaps because you can remap these attributes. Like I could remap these and switch these around or something like this to give more. But I only have like, I get, you only get one of these every year or something like that. So it's a big decision you have to make. And honestly, I don't know why that we have to get these, the, why, the, what kind of interesting gameplay this introduces. I don't think this, in my opinion, gives any interesting gameplay. It gives like, you know, important decision making, but to what end? I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like this is at all a, a system that gives me uh, more fun in EVE Online or makes the game more, uh, you know, interesting. So I, in my opinion, just this is just my opinion, okay? Feel free to disagree, but I think they should just remove this whole attribute system and just make it so that all skills train at the same rate and that they're basically like a, a maximum. Like it's not like, you know, certain skills train faster than others. I think they should all train the same speed, uh, max speed, basically. It will just simplify this so much. And I also feel like uh, for new players, especially because in EVE Online, especially... Uh, nowadays, I noticed that CCP is you know, moving towards a, uh, trying to focus a bit more on new players to get new players into the game. They mention a lot how there are a lot of people who play EVE Online, but they don't actually stay around a whole lot. And I feel like this would be one step closer to getting that to be a bit more a uh, bit better because it's just that there's some of these some systems in EVE Online uh, I just feel like are too complicated like EVE Online is known a lot for being a really complicated game and it is in many ways but at the same time it is not a particularly complicated game if you understand the fundamentals and this is one of those fundamentals that I think is just unnecessarily complicated that should be there and it just doesn't really add any kind of gameplay it, obviously yeah you have to plan you know you have to plan okay I'm going to do this uh, per attribute this attribute this attribute if I want to have this type of character etc 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 but i don't know what way okay well yeah okay i have to plan okay well, what was that going to add i don't see that adding any interesting kind of gameplay uh like why why would you having to just change these arbitrary points uh, to a certain kind of character to me it doesn't seem at all interesting and maybe some people find it interesting but i don't all right, so that's my thoughts and that's why i don't particularly like training implants i don't like it how um and the how you have to you know think about your skill training just by going to a more riskier place of space i think that should be constant all the time i think that the uh, skill the implants that affect your attributes should not be lost on death uh, and 
but I don't mean that like say the actual Asclepian implant, the thing that affects uh, the you know the for example armor repair rate or hydro crystal that affects shield boost rate. I think they should be a separate thing from the implant that affects uh, the skill training. So I think that those should definitely be lost on death. But um, the ones that affect, if you have these separate then implants that affect training speed, they should just be there all the time. So you don't have to worry about, you know, going to low sec, no sec, you know, you're missing out on training time. I've, in fact, this is a thing I forgot to tell you guys about. I've noticed on the EVE Online uh, Reddit and especially EVE Online forums, I've noticed a lot of threads that people talk about this, that, oh, these training implants, they ruined my life. Like they made me so risk averse, not wanting to go anywhere, just staying in my home station all the time. Um, it's just, it's not just only me. There are other people who th think that way as well. But it's just, I feel like this would maybe make it one step easier for people to, you know, engage in these more risk uh, intense activities of EVE Online. Uh, and then also I think that the attribute system just should be completely removed and just made it so all skills are trained the same rate at maximum rate. We don't have to think about this silly attribute system that is just needlessly complicated, making it harder for new players to get to grips of the meta of EVE Online. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. Maybe it's a little bit controversial, but I don't really care. I just want to tell you guys my opinions. Leave me know what you guys think in the description below. Just make sure you are civil, especially to other commenters, because I don't like seeing big arguments staring out in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.